Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Paul Nicole. If you're returning, hey y'all. So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. Y'all know, if I'm doing a sit down video, it's something different. It is May, it is the month of May. That means it is my birthday month, yes. Your girl has a birthday this month. So I decided I was going to sit down and share with you guys my birthday wish list. So this is basically a list that I put together of things that I have been like eyeballing. Um, it's going to consist of things that I want like for my home. Y'all know that I have been like really concentrating on decorating our home. Some luxury pur purchases since I have been um spending so much time and money um on the house i have actually put a few luxury purchases on this list um and this list is not um by any means a list of things that i want people to purchase for me but babe if you are watching this video just know these are things that i want okay these are things that i got my eye on so just in case you know you have like your brain is like foggy on what to get me for my birthday here you are okay i'm gonna have all these items linked down in the description okay so this like i said is going to consist of home things luxury purchases just really all kinds of things things i need for youtube just stuff that i want stuff that i want some of these things I may actually just purchase right after I record this video, but it's just like kind of like, okay, I've been having my um, eyes on this, 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 you know, right, just so jumping right into this video. So the first item, number one on the list, is going to be the Tom Ford White Suede Perfume. Y'all, I'm not even like a really huge perfume person, but let me tell you, my husband, when it comes to a fragrance and like high-end expensive fragrances that he is the one okay he is the one so like when it, he has several of these time for fragrances already so when i went we were out shopping um maybe a few weeks ago and i smelled this time ford fragrance y'all and at first i didn't like it because you know with fragrances sometimes they have to like dry down before you can really get the oomph and so um by the time i really got that oomph um we were already out of the store and y'all it was like such a good deal um on this fragrance um at the time and i wanted it so bad i wanted it so bad um it smelled so so good y'all but i mean if if you know or if you don't know time for fragrances they are pricey okay they are pricey and like i said with me being a person that's not really into fragrances like that at the time i'm just like okay am, am i about to spend a few hundred dollars on this perfume and clearly i didn't so but i mean still to this day i just think about how good that perfume smells so that's something on my list that i definitely will be purchasing i don't know how soon you know how soon i will be purchasing it purchasing it but it's something that i definitely do want even if it's just like a little travel size something to just keep in my purse um yes it smells wonderful so time for white suede perfume okay um number two on the list it's going to be a designer belt y'all i have been talking about getting a designer belt for so long i just feel like now since i'm kind of like you know reorganizing or giving some structure to my wardrobe um i just feel like a designer belt is something that i really need as a staple piece in my wardrobe right now it's like okay now is the time you need to be getting your designer belt so the designer belt of my choice is going to be of course the gucci belt it's going to be a gucci belt or armes belt um so yeah i definitely would love to have one of those number three it's going to be the smeg toaster y'all i'm still hung up on the smeg toaster but i have 
made up my mind about what color I want. I have decided to go with the white Smeg Toaster. However, um, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a matte option available for the white color now. So I believe it's Crane Barrel. Crane Barrel carries the white matte option in white. I think they have it in black also. So yeah, since we have tackled our hardware issue, um, we resolved that whole issue, I have decided to go ahead and go with the white Smeg Toaster. Now I'm just like, okay, do I want the matte one or just the regular one? I really don't even care. Um, honestly, I just know I want white. So if someone purchases me the Smeg Toaster, Y'all can buy me matte or the regular glossy one. I, I don't care. I'm just thankful, okay? I'm I'm thankful. It doesn't matter which one y'all get me. <laughs> Number three, this is gonna be another like luxury purchase. I am dying for a Fendi purse, y'all. I want a little Fendi purse. Um, not even a big one, but I want a little Fendi purse, like some kind of small Fendi bag. Um, I kind of want a fanny pack. I kind of want a fanny pack. I haven't even really just looked into um, a particular style or anything, but I'm just like, okay, I want a fanny bag. Um, and this is going to kind of tie into the next one on my list. I want these fanny slides, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, these sandals are so freaking cute. I definitely feel like I need to get these like this summer, like soon. So this is probably like my top um, luxury purchase. Like the one that I probably will be buying the soonest. Probably these slides because these are so, so cute. So yeah, these Fendi slides and a Fendi bag of some type. I really think I do want a, a, a Fendi pack. I think that'd be like so cute. Okay, next on the list is gonna be this olive tree from Restoration Hardware, y'all. My mom and Charles think that I am so crazy because this olive tree, it is artificial, y'all. It's a fake tree and it's over a thousand dollars. But I have been doing so much research to find um, an olive tree that does not look so, so fake. Um, and this is the one that I've narrowed it down to. With this, I feel like, you know, you're gonna basically get what you pay for. I really do want something that's, you know, like really big and substantial, you know. Um, but it has a very hefty price tag. So I'm not really in a rush to buy this. Um, because mainly I plan on putting this in our living room and I have not started um, decorating our living room as of yet right now. So when I start focusing like heavily focusing on our living room, then I'm going to be like seriously looking into buying this olive tree. But in the meantime, I have been going to the RH outlet to see if they have had any there. And I haven't had any luck finding them. Um, in case you guys do not know, if you have a restoration hardware outlet in your in your area, um, all of the stuff in the outlet, I believe it's like 40 to 70% off the gallery price. So next on my list, y'all, is a MacBook Pro. Y'all, this is something that I need. This is something that I need. So my current laptop I've had for probably eight years now. It's old faithful for real, like ride or die for real. Um, so, you know, with me doing YouTube and everything, I really need like a top of the line um, laptop. Whichever one I purchase next, it has to be top of the line. This one is doing pretty good, but y'all, it's not the greatest for what I'm using it for now, which is YouTube, you know, like with everything that I have on it, all the software that I need and everything. What I was told is basically the MacBook Pro is gonna be the best laptop out there that you could possibly have for YouTube, all the software that you need for um, editing, everything. 
But have y'all seen the price of a MacBook Pro? Like, and then you y'all know how I am like with buying like electronics, um, Apple watches, iPhones imax and the thing is like i am a windows user i have never owned a mac ever so that's kind of like intimidating to me to even think about like owning uh, the macbook pro or whatever because i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna like using it or know how to use it or whatever but of course it's really cute i like the aesthetics and i feel like you know you're going to get your money worth because you can basically have those forever i initially wanted it a uh, imac the 27 inch but they have released a new one um but that's kind of like the cheapest the cheaper version of the imac so i'm anticipating them releasing like the higher grade one so i don't want to buy the imac or even look consider buying the imac until they release that one so my whole thing is i'm thinking that they may be releasing a new macbook pro soon as well since they're releasing like a new imac but y'all my computer now like I said, I've had it for so long. It's at the point where it will not even hold a charge without being plugged in. So while I'm editing, I have to have it plugged up. And that is like so inconvenient for me. So I'm thinking I really need a MacBook Pro. And this is like why I'm making this list so I can kind of like see everything that I want because it's like, you need to have your priorities in check, girl, because yes, you want this tree. Yes, you want these Fendi um, sandals, but you need a MacBook Pro, okay? Your MacBook Pro is going to make you money. And then the next thing is going to be a ring light. Y'all, I need a ring light. I bought a little bitty one um, to do like my hair videos, but I got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. And this, I unboxed it. And you plug it into a USB. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this, y'all? I was so disappointed. But I guess I can get like one of those little... Y'all know those little things that you can like... The portable like charger things or whatever. You can like plug into your phone or whatever. But I'm just like, that ain't what, I, that ain't what it is, okay? I need to get me a big one. Because I just need a, a ring light. I've been talking about this for so long. Even before, like, when I was doing my boutique, I said I needed a ring light. Especially for, like, my pictures and stuff. Like, I used to have, like, the big, um, like, studio lighting. And Charles has that, but that stuff is big, y'all. And it takes up a lot of space. And it's not cute. I don't want that all over my office, okay? And the last thing on this list, y'all, is going to be a staple. If you wear tennis shoes, this is a staple all white air force ones okay this is what i need definitely for this summer because i can see myself wearing all white air force ones with dresses joggers shorts everything i definitely need these yeah i'm gonna buy these probably like soon soon for real yeah okay so y'all this basically concludes my list i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said babe if you're watching this is just just a little help for you in case you wanted to know what to get me for my birthday so if you like this video guys make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and until next time guys bye